I turned my Mavic Mini into a rainproof drone using only suppliers at a local hardware store. You see, drones are very susceptible to rain, but I work filming real estate videos, so when it rains, the property still needs to be filmed. So over the last three days, I've created a goal for myself to create the world's first rainproof drone. This project took hours of back and forth to the hardware store and took a lot of hours that I probably really should have been working. So to make this project work, I firstly need to pick up my drone. It's currently with a friend, which is a two hour drive away. Then I need to plan out the drone umbrella and how it's going to work. I need to make it and attach it to the drone test it and then of course we're going to shoot a property with it. In the last few months Sydney has been super rainy. In the last two months alone it's flooded three times so it really won't be an issue to find a rainy day to test it. What? It was literally flooding last week and now it's sunny. Parts of New South Wales are waking up to the worst flooding in seven decades after further heavy rain swamped already waterlogged rivers overnight. All right, so we have Wednesday and Thursday that is raining. So we have to finish it before then. That's, that should be enough time. That's three days. That should be fine. So off we headed to pick up my drone that was two hours away. <laughs> Oh, hello Zach. Oh, you're not at home, are you? I'm like 10 minutes from home. Do you reckon if I come by, could I grab the drone? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hello Zach, you're on camera. I'm on camera, am I? Okay. Drone acquired. So as you've probably already picked up, the way we're going to do this is using an umbrella and the drone. Now the Mavic Mini is 250 grams, so I don't know how much it can lift. So I have a few weight increments that we can use to test how much the drone can actually lift. So we're going to test them one by one and see how much it can take. So we're gonna take it up for its first flight with the 120 grams. Alright, so 170, that's what we have to work with. That's that's not very much. So after I sorted out how much this can actually live, I decided to jump on Amazon and look for the lightest umbrella I could possibly find on there. What the hell is this? Is that a hat umbrella? Ah, there we go, a 200 gram umbrella. Let's go. So I ordered the umbrella, but I didn't really know how we were going to attach the umbrella to the drone. So while I waited for the package to come, I decided why not go to the hardware store and try to look at supplies to find a way we can get this attached. All right, this is maybe exactly what we're looking for. So it's got a base plate and then it's got this bit on the top as well. So this actually unscrews and so we can glue the umbrella into there and then glue this down to the drone. So then it's actually detachable and it seems pretty light as well. And yes, it is a door stopper, but it should work for the job that we wanted to use for. So this part over here comes in at 27 grams so that is super light and it'll work with the umbrella as long as the umbrella is under 150 even grams hey. I guess we're cutting it down then So we've got these two parts here, and this we're going to glue into there just like that. Nice. Okay, so we've just kind of had to move outside to do this because I don't want to make a mess inside our new place. So, the umbrella part of it's done. Now we're just going to try to attach the this part of it to the drone, so it should go around there. 
So we're here on day two, we've got the drone and the umbrella, we're taking it for its test flight today. Now, to be honest, I don't really expect this to work. The original idea was to actually cut the sides of this off to make it a bit lighter, but um, I thought before we do that, because we're going to have to like damage the side of the umbrella, we may as well try it without it and just see how it goes. <laughs> this looks ridiculous, oh my god. Honestly, I can't believe we're doing this. I, I, this, this can't possibly work. This is not real. Three, two, one. We might just need to cut off the sides of this just to make it a little bit lighter, it's that slightly bit lighter, and then it, it might lift off, fingers crossed. Only five more to go. All right, now we've got the drone, we've cut it down. I have more hope in this one flying off than the last one. So we're gonna give this one a go and see how it Look at this tiny little. I don't have any other ideas if this doesn't take off. So yes, this could be a problem. This might just not work. I'm a little annoyed that it didn't work, so we are going to keep going, we are not giving up, we are going to make a drone fly in the rain, I just don't know how to do it yet. But, 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 we are not giving up, we'll figure it out. After some researching to find if this is even possible, and ways to make the drone waterproof, I came to the conclusion that I need a more powerful drone. Luckily, there's a drone I've forgotten about, that hides in the shadows till its name is called. Phantom 3. Now, I hate to say it, but this drone is at my parents' house. That's about a two hour driveway. Ugh. So off I went. I drove two hours, collected the drone, drove two hours back, went to the hardware store, picked up some parts to glue this on, and now we have the new and improved Drone version 2. Okay, so we have the drone connected, everything is ready to go. This is the final effort that we're putting towards this. Let's pray that it goes well. My remote literally has one power bar in it. It was dead this morning, so kind of hoping that it pulls through and that we can get this up before it uh, dies. It died, oh my God. Oh my God, so, so it's like 4 p.m. now. The sun goes down at 5, so you know, it's dead now and I have to go back home. So I don't think it's going to happen today. Can't have the controller dying while it's in the air because then what will happen is it'll do a return to home sequence and it'll go up to like 40 meters or something and we, we don't want it to go high at all because it, I mean it's it could be unstable so we don't want it to even try, try to go up high. This video has honestly been such a trek. Jesus. Alright guys, it is the next day, um, I've charged everything this time, so we're going to take this out for a flight. Now the interesting thing is it's raining right now, so the original plan was to test it in the sun and then put it into the rain, but you know, I've been working on this for days and I just want to see if it flies, so we're just going to take a risk, it's an old drone anyway, we're going to test it, see if it flies in the rain two tests at once, we'll see if it's waterproof, and we'll see if it even takes off. So, um, let's take it up. This is it. If it's going to work, it's going to work now, or it's just not going to happen. And we, we're not going to have an answer. Three, two, one. After all that, it doesn't work, but hey, 
At least we know you can't put an umbrella on a drone. This is the most disappointing thing ever. All right, guys, there we have it. You can't put an umbrella on a drone. I honestly, I started this video thinking you could and now there's just absolutely no hope. I have lost two drones and we have a conclusion that it doesn't work. Thanks for watching. I know that it's probably really unsatisfying to get to the end of this video and see the drone not fly, but but I do just want to keep this video real. Um, you know, I don't want to fake anything. And if it doesn't fly, it doesn't fly, and that's that's just what it is. So either way, guys, thanks for watching and sticking by for the entire video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.